So uh, welcome to No Shame, episode 29 on the No Shame couch at the Lima Powered Studio here at SBG Dublin 24. We have the longest man in <laughs> Irish combat martial arts for sure, Chris, the housewife choice uh, fields. First off, what do you even go into it, Chris? The housewife choice, where did that come from? Uh, it was actually given to me by, um, I, I, you know Andrew McGann? Uh, used to, when he was working for Severe, I was over, you were, you were fine that time, were you? Uh, in Vegas, Connor was fine. Mendez, were you fighting that time, or were you no, just over at the? No. All right, uh, Cole was fine. I was over with Cole, and um, he was just interviewing me, asking me what I thought of the fights and all that kind of stuff. But he introduced me as the housewife's choice because apparently, uh, P.T. Carroll's mother-in-law loves a bit of me. So. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, it's all the Owens love a bit of me. So I want the nineteen-year-olds. I don't want the fucking forty-eight-year-olds. Yeah, exactly. like, something popped into me when, uh, downstairs when I came. It was like, is the good looking one coming in? I was like. I thought that was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was me, I did. So, so Chris, yeah, Chris is flying off tomorrow, so you, you've got a big fight in front of you now. And, you, well, you actually got a find in a man that will fight you. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's working out well. It's either them pulling out or the weather or something going wrong the last while. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I don't know, like, I'm not that stressed about the, like, the missing the fights. Like, obviously, you want to compete after you've done all the work, but... Uh, my emphasis has changed a little, so I'm just improving all the time. So I feel like, like the, you know, I'm making bigger changes as I go, yeah. like in my game. You but know, getting so. paid in between it would be a nice. That's like, nice too. Like, but like, the, the we're, we're not like myself and yourself are, are not as hard as we used to be. So you're getting, you know, you've you've a business where you're yeah. making some money where it used to just be like literally you're going hungry if you don't fight. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> this talking, guy's fighting for a sandwich. We're, we're talking <laughs> about selling our body for twenty euro. <laughs> 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 but yeah, like uh, you know, so it's. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to like. It's gonna be nice to show it off. That's that's the big thing. Like, I feel like my game's improved a lot in the last few years. So, so we just hit rewind on this, right? And we go straight back to the bracket, right? Oh, back <laughs> so to the bracket. Back in bracket. When you were a big tall kid wearing a fila hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, like, Definitely. That was totally with the stupid little yeah, fringe so, of this going on. I seen on, like, fila the other day. I seen a, a fila make the other day. Yeah. I was like, it's coming back. Yeah, no, no, it can't. It can't. Back. Don't let it back. And hike. Yeah, like Jesus. Oh, do you remember the the uh, hike socks? Like, Stop yeah, oh, I had them. Never had the Nike ones. Hike, like, remember that? Yeah. Oh, do you know what I'm obsessed with now? I buy yeah, I buy my son expensive runners because when I was a kid, I my my parents were like they were, like they were kind of you know upper working class. They were, we're never really like it's struggling. Still. You know, my dad was a mechanic, so he had a decent job and he worked his arse off. And my mom did everything. You know, but um. I, like they wouldn't spend the money on runners they were like that's a waste of money you need no. better things you know yeah. where the other kids that had the nice runners didn't even get dinner you know what I mean like, yeah, so yeah. I was getting the right things but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I got abused for not having those runners man. Like, go out and lick your runners yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hungry. Shy, like I was walking around the shy runner so you, you get abused so I'm a, I buy my kids my kid uh, Tommy like real expensive shit all the time that is just mad. the runners cause that it, must be some sort of this order that you go through yeah when you're, when you're what, a, what a shite this order though like, I was even abused and all no, what, buying the good stuff well, like, like, and yeah. he goes up and he has a pair of runners yeah I bought him a pair of the cost runners the other day and like I, 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 when I used to get you know if you got a pair of the cost runners back yeah, in the you day were the shit. two bushes at night yeah. like <laughs> prison <laughs> wall you know what I mean <laughs> you'd be cleaning the shit out of that you would be and I got him a pair and he calls them uh, he says to his mate in school the other day he's like I have these pair of runners there's a crocodile on them. <laughs> That's it too. I just thought that was but brilliant. It, it, it's so, it's, it's probably normal enough to him to have the good gear. Yeah. You know, it's not a big deal. Like. Just be clean, bro, make him clean. No, oh, make him. <laughs> make him clean. Yeah, yeah that's RSPC how. RSPC out of yeah, that, that, Yeah, you're going to be in trouble on that the one, line be like, yeah, no, bro. But he wipes them with uh, baby wipes and stuff like that as well. So. All right, he's mad, he's mad for the, the plain white, is and he? And he keeps them up and all. These are going out. What, what age is he now, Pat? Ten. Ten, Jesus. That's right. man. Oh, here, congratulations. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen you oh, since. No, no. Yeah, still great works. news, man. Still yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, it still works. Still works. <laughs> yeah, after everything you've tried, it still works. Oh, I like, yeah, man, but I'm slightly fucking like 10 years away. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, it's going to be. And I'm like, hold on, 10 years? Yeah, it's going to be a bit different. Yeah, everything's different. Look, yeah, we're talking about, like, yeah. there's a crib you can get. Like, yeah, you don't yeah. Make that and, and there's a. Uh, oh. And I'd say the I'd say the L knife feeds and all are gonna affect you a bit more these the days. Bods, I, I think you know the, ba- the bounce back ability. What age were you when you had your first kid? 19. At nineteen. Yeah, the oh, bounce back ability at nineteen is grand. Oh, okay. Having five hours sleep at thirty, not so I, much. I, I remember standing at the reception when I was having my first kid uh, in, in the gym. You were young looking and, man uh, as well. Oh, yeah. I was only look at. I was that. I was that little young player like. Nah, he's too thin to make it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, Someone give him a ham here. sandwich, will you, yeah. or something? I don't remember saying. Can I freeze my me membership while I have a baby? <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? 
It's not an SBG account that counts. Not a beard in sight. Not a, not a bit of facial hair. We haven't even got a pew. Yeah. Oh, my beard. You probably wouldn't have noticed them anyway. Well, I was too fair. I was too fair. Like, all the boys are like, I'd say you yeah, go back to the bracket again and you'll feel a how. I'd say you were the first one. Being no, tall. it wasn't. No, oh, no, it was tall, scrawny. Well, you were as tall. Uh, I like I about sixteen. I started to uh, sprout. Like I wasn't even the biggest in my class up till about third or fourth year. Like there was, there was a lot of. But I remember like uh, after PE and first and second year and stuff. Like lads in having showers and me there standing there, <laughs> near a pube, <laughs> like one dangling out and boys there full chest hair and all, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shaving. It would, and it would be flat. Yeah, you're feeling like a little <laughs> flat. You like this in the corner, you know. Look at them now. Though. Who's more manly now? Oh, that's Who's it. more manly now? I, I'd say you always look like he's gonna fill in. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was always up. Yeah, it was always. Well, you up, weren't like because you would have been the top. Like you would have been. Well, what? What? what well, the, the problem was is so. Uh, so like, boy, about sixteen, then I was probably about six two, six three. Like, but the the problem was then every fight that happened, I got clattered first. It was just about the same. <laughs> yeah, it, right? so I was going for the tall lad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know because I, I used to hang around with a fella. Well, not that I was still a good friend of mine. Uh, Sean, his name is, and he was he looked like an outflow when we were young. Yeah, right? yeah. And like if that happened, and that kicked out the guard to chase down around. You had to split from him because you knew he was. Yeah, yeah. Him. That's the problem. Anyone, I, he caught me in a crowd. You know, head and shoulders above everyone else. This so. was it. Yeah, it was like, get the big lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty yeah. lads going that way. And, Chris goes that way. It, it, it was going. always the it was always the bollocks like you that started the shit. Like the smaller lads always kicked always, it off, and always. then it's me getting clattered. Like yeah. he was standing at the back of my hill right one time. Uh, I was I'm digging the back garden uh, now, so I start finding little stuff, and it reminded me. This yeah. Was, oh, my latest, right? We got a wheel. No, we didn't. So that's the hill, right? And he threw it off the back of me heel and it rolled down the hill. Now, this is in the 90s on hands. I don't start trying to go press charges. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it went right into the side of a car. It turned out it was a cop car. Right? Oh, and what do you mean? Yeah. It was like the look on their face at the end of the hill. I was like, they're, they're going to kill us. If they catch us, they are going to kill us. You could see with our face, they were fucking furious. Yeah, good back in the 90s. Just give you a smack instead of furious, rest. Furious, well, yeah, like, right. Yeah. But I was saying, yeah, that's a big wall. And this is yeah. how it got me thinking again about this story. And me and me, and me mate Sean, right, we legged it. And we went down, and my ma had the door open. And my ma was nearly going to let us through, but she closed the front door on Stung us. Stung you? Right? Yeah. So we, no, it was like the other way around. We ran through the front door, right. and my ma closed the front door right, on the garden. Right, right, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And the guard had jumped over the back gate. And me and Sean ran out the back door, and we were running. And this Straight wall, in. and this is how I remember this wall. We were running, and we just fucking scaled this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how we did it, because looking at it as, as, as the other day. It's, so. it's mad, the stuff you do when you're it being chased. <laughs> We're letting out all our secrets here. Yeah, it reminded me of this because I'm saying, I bet you, like when I was coming in here today, I was like, I bet you Chris was going through that when he was there. Yeah, you were the guy that everyone had to split from. Yeah, yeah, I, like mad noticeable in the crowd. And uh, to be honest, at about like when I got really tall, I started hanging around with a different group of lads, so in less trouble. <laughs> well, I kind of copped like at that age that uh, I suppose that's. Uh, that's the good parent, isn't it? Like, yeah, you kind of go, it. like... How yeah. is your ma as well? Your she's great, really... yeah. She loves, she loves Paddy, oh, yeah. Oh, she loves oh, Paddy, oh, yeah. She's she always there. We're going to have a cup of tea. She's <laughs> That's Paddy. Go, That's all that anyone ever thinks of, Paddy. Paddy. Yeah, you sure. No, no. Then you get the real story. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I'll be hiding stuff now to make myself look good, you know? <laughs> Still got to run kids' class out in SBE stores. I can't be doing that shit, like, you know? <laughs> I'm going to get into that even a little bit, because yeah, that's yeah. an awesome thing that you're doing out there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. That wasn't a plug. I was just... No, but watching you what you and Tom are doing about it is savage yeah, so, so growing up you were obviously like, yeah I, I was a little tear away till I was about 16, 17 yeah. I started hanging around with the group of lads that I'd still be friends with now uh, a lot of the lads I used to hang around with kind of got themselves in a fair bit of trouble you know um, some of them mixed up in, in drugs probably sim very similar situation yeah. to every every area like that, that in Dublin is, you know? and, this will really be trying to and, and I think I'm like like you know you always think yours is the maddest stories but they're probably the you know we talk to other people some mad very, shit went on man they're, they're, some mad shit is, went they're on. very similar like, that's yeah. what I'd be saying and like, I, 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 like, I think years ago we started out as, as council kids like, yeah, yeah, like yeah 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 like, I heard neighbours knocking up my house don't be talking about the area like that yeah. you know what I mean? it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing it's only bad if you think it's bad. It's a wild thing. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? it's it, like especially then, it's less so now. Like I even when I go over to my mom's, uh, maybe the whole area has just grown up. You know, so and now yeah. people can't afford to live in the areas anymore. So they move <laughs> uh, but it, it's like um, it's like everyone's older, so there's less kids in their older. It used to just be. I remember like uh, bonfires and uh, you know, you know, at the bonfire they don't really do bonfires anymore. Do they do that no. much? Like, but there, like there's loads of little fires starting before it's even built. Before and then uh, I remember someone kicking a cushion. 
and it, it's uh, some guy had a jersey on it stuck to his back and just started melting the fucking jersey <laughs> and he'd be running up the fire. Just mad Amazing. shit. That just, if it went on now, he'd be arrested and all, wow, you know? Gonna, yeah. and, and you'd always have a plan. We're going to stick a bottle of gas. Yeah, in oh, man. Throwing, <laughs> I'll stand there throwing Lynx bottles into it. Oh, thing yeah, exploding. Like, yeah. A tin of beans. I was always that gobshite as well. A tin of beans, huh? Yeah. Somebody, everyone gets yeah, scarred. Yeah, see what happens. See what happens. They can pop in and like, bam! Someone died. A bit of shrapnel. In the face. <laughs> oh man! I, like you did. I, I see. I was always a bit thick. As I used to, like I used to just want to do stuff. Yeah, the tall kids yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. We're telling you, they were tall kids. No contractors. Yeah. They're like one of the brain guys. Just go on. I'll do it. I, yeah. I remember I, I ran across a house at a party and tried to jump in, catch onto a tree, like. So I ran across the top of the house, jumped, and tried to, thought I'd be able to wrap around it, hit it, went like that, fell into a bush, a thorn bush, ripped a bit. <laughs> I'm going home, you know, one of these, I'm like dragging your legs and all yeah, like fucking it, It's Egypt. films that do that stuff to us, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, start believing you're saying, uh, Films influence kids and it and 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 hurts people. It only hurts kids, that's the yeah, only thing. Yeah, battered, you, you knees think, and bits. You like, think you can do shit like that and all of a sudden it's like... Shit, you just bounce off I'm, a tree and jump onto it. Yeah, yeah that doesn't happen. You could have not, yeah. everything was grand. I, I, so I'm hoping Tommy gets uh, his mad smarts and we're, we're all right. You know? Yeah, they will. They yeah, will, yeah, hopefully. Well, like I see, that's the thing. You know, uh, my, my kid's going to grow probably middle class at this rate. You know, kind of like where we're going to live, how he's going to live. It's probably going to be a middle class area. So he's going to grow up different. This is what I, he's mad into the sport at the moment. Like, he loves it. He's only two. He'll be three in September. MMA? Yeah, loves it. He watched the lads spar all the time and oh, I loves it. I, I love having him down the gym and I think it's... And does he like that? I loves it, yeah, he loves it. He fucking stand it. <laughs> Can not? No. Well, he's very young though now. He uh, yeah, change, suppose, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? more, yeah. Uh, but he, um, he, he adores it. Like, uh, but he... Um, he like he wants he calls it bap bap he wants to do bap bap all the time you know throwing shots and then he's grabbing you and dragging you around um but uh like I think the thing is and you, you could probably attest this because they're gonna grow up kind of uh, a nicer life and that's their job yeah. that, that was our whole out why we started this to make sure that our kids were yeah. uh, or our families or whatever um he he probably won't have that bite to fight even if he's really good even you know he mightn't have that you know that bit when you're in that fight and it's going bad. Yeah, you know, you're like, oh, I need the fucking money. Yeah, have to, it's half the money. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be, I don't remember, like, y- your face would tell that, uh, say, cage contenders and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, oh, no, I'm winning. Why? Because I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to yeah, win. Yeah, I, I need to win. Like, yeah. Well, that's, you don't, you know, like, or the other option is, yeah, you either have to win, like, or lose well. You know, like Witcher Shield are on it. It's yeah, always been yeah, my. Uh, you want it? Um, so we were talking about your leg kick last week. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, true yeah. fucking story. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Serious <laughs> leg kick, this man. <laughs> Why were me and you sparring what each other? No, like, yeah. seriously, someone. I, I remember I was talking to Ash about this recently. Me and Ash used to spar each other. Man. <laughs> I was thinking that, and I was like. Thank God you were all right. Yeah, you yeah. Sound, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, we had just been swinging yeah, at each other. Yeah, imagine I was like, that little bollocks is Yeah, I'm sure you cracked me before. That's probably I'm why sure. you got the leg kick. A little bit. Back in your box there, yeah. kid. Like, ah! like that little Jack Russell, you know, the start yeah. of the great day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're holding it down a little bit, you know what Relax now. Stop right, it. Yeah. Bad. But, uh, yeah, no, I do. I think, like, like, like you're saying with your son, he does like you did your job right that he doesn't probably need to do this you yeah. know what I mean like, no, you know, that's, that's probably why he doesn't have that much interest because he has a nice uh, Xbox now, at home do you know what he's that mad that about he's mad about gas Oh, that's brilliant. But, yeah, no, and I'm not amazing. I was saying, you realise you're going to have more injuries than I've ever had in my life, more, and you're going to yeah. get paid nothing. Yeah. But I have a job in a bank, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you won't have to go in. It'll but, be great. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah. literally, he's. Now, he's good at that. Yeah. And then we figured this out was he's playing football, and he was all right now. Like, he's in goal, it's all right. And then the match uh, blows up, he picks up the ball. Boom, game. Boom, 40 yards, mill some kid in the head. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he meant it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, maybe he's good at that. Right. Yeah. And so he's taken. Yeah, he's up, yeah, he's up Thomas Davis now, and he played it. He played a match every week and all last week. Brilliant. He's mad for it. He's mad yeah, for it. Yeah, but yeah, he has brilliant. the. He has the. the yeah, he's stocky. Isn't he? Yeah, he's stocky. Well, I remember him being yeah, stocky. So he's yeah, yeah. I've seen him in probably a year now. The like. kids jump up on him. They're like, Bow! yeah, and he just bounce off. <laughs> bounce off. That was like, but it, like, what a cool thing to be involved <coughs> in. Such a such an Irish thing as well. Yeah, and and they have like uh, the the community is really good. You know, that kind of way like they all stick together and it's tight. Like, and we've loads of maids in the community as well. So it's great like even to look after them. You know what I mean? So say when you're yeah getting older and. How, when does this become a dream? But yeah, when did it become like shit? You know what? I was like, pretty old, uh, Pat. Look, my my yeah. Uh, you, you were training martial arts when you were small. I I started training martial arts when I was kickboxing, six. Kickboxing was it? Yeah, yeah. I, and uh, I started doing like like judo and stuff in yeah, nineteen. It was kickboxing. It was like. He can kick it across the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you remember? Ding. Uh, <laughs> so, gets kicked in the I, head. so I used to when I was really young, like I used to do um say say at twelve 
13 maybe I was doing um, uh, kickboxing and I was in like a group but were, everyone was quite young but I kept fucking uh, going harder than everyone else because I'm a little dope like just you know <laughs> you were that and, guy yeah and then like I was making other kids cry and stuff like uh, not that I'm any good just that like they they weren't good at yeah. all uh, yeah. but then I got dragged into the fucking adult class which my dad ran my dad was a, my dad was, we'll say a kickboxer, right? More of a rings end street fighter. Like, it was an L shitty court. club in Ballybrack, like in a in the local scouts hall. You know this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And we'd put on a mix mix match of fucking gloves. They're all different sizes, and some of them wouldn't even have that on this side. Only wouldn't even be a boxing glove. And it'd be a bunch of grown men. I'd be 13, 14 at the time fighting grown men. Like, but they're all little snakes. So I'd be trying to kick and stay away. That's where this whole thing of being that distance came from for me. Like. Because we got close and they just hooked the fucking head off. He kept yeah. me in the corner, <laughs> battered me. Over. Yeah, it's like when you get close, me, I know what yeah. to do. Our old lad had a good kind of attitude. You know, he was like, like you know, you know the talk that goes on in gyms or whatever. He's like, look, here I'm not your dad. Like, uh, you know, at home everything else. But when we walk in the doors, it's just you're another lad training. You know that kind of way. Yeah, so no, that's cool. the best way to do it as well yeah. because uh, they're like everyone now is the the manager's kids that, that yeah, yeah, always yeah, got yeah. his game and all but it was just Quick. like literally a knock <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah never good enough always got his game <laughs> that's what I claim because they got my position I'd say like in football you know I was dirt uh, but yeah I just liked so I, I just kind of liked the toughness of and taking a few smacks and always enjoyed that's it that's when you realise the dig in the head is actually exhilarating yeah and I went to watch uh, when I was 13 I think I went to watch Collins fight Eubank the second fight in Parky Creed my dad oh, brought me right. yeah my dad was a big Collins fan that's like, an incredible match. memory I'd say as well I got to meet Collins after my old lad used to know a lot of heads from Ring's End like, and um, so he uh, he got me in the back to meet Collins after the fight and I'd I say just, he was absolutely I, was, I remember looking at my dad so I wasn't that tall because Collins only about 6'1 or something so I wasn't that tall at this stage I didn't shot up yet I remember looking up and I'm going I want to do this. This is pretty awesome. I didn't know what part, what but I wanted to. I was thirteen, I think. Like. That was an incredible. Oh, thing to man, do mad experience. Yeah, yeah, mad experience. Now we were sitting in the nosebleeders, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, but you got to meet Collins after. Yeah, so I that's know, man. Like, yeah, I've met him a couple of times since and remind him of the story. Like, but uh, he's a cool guy, actually. That's what I was about to yeah, say. Yeah, like, he um, he, I've met him once or twice myself, and he's he's such a normal, like, yeah, normal. yeah, and that is it because yeah. I think that's um, like even yourself now, like so like. People meet us now and I like. Yeah, they think we're gonna be, you, yeah, yeah gonna be weird, up our own arses or not want to talk to them or something. Like. Yeah. People find it weird that we'd be just the same. Yeah, like what, what were they expecting? Like, like a facade? Like, like I was yeah. saying a while ago, I got the bus the while ago, just just for the crack, <laughs> just jumped on the bus. Yeah, yeah. And people, 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 post something on Facebook because I was on a bus and they're like Chris Fields just got on my bus and then some lad rode under it no he fucking didn't get hit, like, <laughs> it's not him I wouldn't say like you know, I'm sitting it? two seats behind the guy on the bus like yeah <laughs> oh Chelsea's fear for 100 you know what I mean? Imagine me and that. No, no, no. Imagine me and that. Stop. I'll put you in that just for the crack. Yeah, yeah. Rolling around, all of a sudden I'm on Twitter and there's two lads on a car. Ah! <laughs> 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 Rolling down the road in a fear for It's okay, an egg okay. colour joke and all it was. Oh, it was amazing. Rap a car though. And yeah, they're 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 this there's, a bit of, there's a bit of poke in them as well. Oh, there, yeah. We'd be at the school, they would, and the L ones would be like, see you later, Mrs. Stuff. You just throwing yeah, it on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, um, so, when did you, when did you, when did you arrive at SBG at the door? So, How did this all happen? I, I actually went there, um, so I, uh, I was actually working with a guy, and uh, we were talking about like uh, different martial arts, and he was saying he was doing jiu jitsu. And he brought me, um, I said, I'll, I'll come up and do it. And he brought me to a traditional jiu-jitsu was club. Was this Emmett? Uh, d- I wasn't working with Emmett, but I was introduced to Emmett through this. But I actually arrived up to a club and it was uh, traditional jiu-jitsu, like Japanese jiu-jitsu. But Tom trained there. Tom, Tom King? King, yeah. Uh, Mark <laughs> Tom was Smith, in the corner with his Emma, knee in someone's yeah, heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, there was a serious crew of lads there, right? And uh, Who was the sorry guy? Uh, Tom King, Emmett, Mark Smith. Those are like a, a big group of lads that you'd know from SVG, you know? And... Uh, they, uh, they were all cross-training Johns at the time as well, so they're doing uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. That would have been, been Harold's Cross at the time, would it have been? Uh, that was Harold's Cross, so I I went down and met them, um, trained there for a while, and then I went up to, uh, um, I, I went up and trained in Harold's Cross, yeah, Harold's Cross, and I, I trained there like three times, but then I went like travelling for six months, I went travelling around the world for six months, and then when I came back, I started taking things more serious, and uh, I went down, I was training with Emmett again, and we were doing like uh, I started doing the MMA leagues while training with Emma and then I, I competed in the Irish Open in like 2006, 2007 and I actually ended up competing against Emma in it 
who was my coach time and really? I beat him in the Irish Open and he, Emmett being the legend he is just went look I'm, I'm not more I can show you here so you need to go on to John he, I think he got a blue just around that time off John so you speak to anyone that's been successful and it's always the same thing like and all of us would attest the same thing it's just craft you craft. know and most of it was done in the uh, like a far worse facility than any of us even have Ooh, now yeah. <laughs> you that know what I mean like you know, like a far you, worse facility. Like. You, you're definitely gonna make it. Like when I see some of the kids now at like fourteen and fifteen, I'm like, I didn't even, st- I didn't even know how to spell did you two at like yeah, nineteen, yeah. mate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, I, I like, I was a strange one because I came into like a, like an athletic, a professional athletic career. I had my first fight at twenty five. Like you shouldn't be even doing. You shouldn't. I've, I'd no business doing well in the sport at all. Like you know. Shit. Yeah, that's mad. Like that you know. Like mad. think of someone saying they want to start sprinting at twenty five. That shows because like, you know, because you run a club. I run a club now. Two, two businessmen now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? But the idea is that like um, I get people all the time. Like if we could, if we could just drag somebody and like give them a shot of jiu jitsu or, yeah, like, or yeah, whatever, yeah, or just yeah. training and yeah. let them see like because always it's like, uh, well I'm not gonna be able to compete. So what's the point in even training? Yeah. Or I'm too old for it, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. And then you're never too old to start, never. especially with jiu-jitsu. You're never too old this to start. Like, training. Yeah, it's Look, if you're like, if you're forty odd and you think you're gonna have a career fight in MMA, you're probably a bit yeah, you're twisted, probably like, you know twisted. what I mean, like. But like, it should be like if it's just for fun, or you can do, you could do the striking class, you could do jiu-jitsu forever. Do jiu That's my well, jiu-jitsu is my golf, man. One hundred. That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of my career. Like that's when I'm done fighting, I'm gonna play jiu-jitsu all the time. <laughs> and that, you know what I mean? That, I can't that, play golf. That's shit. what we do here. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Like, play jiu-jitsu in the yeah. mornings, teach it in the evenings, yeah. and it's like it's just one of the the best games, the most yeah, it's lovely, reward like. and things yeah. that you can get. And, and like um, we have people coming in as you said from off. Like you, you, you were good. You, you were good at training an amputee. Yeah, he just won. A, he just won a competition. How as well. amazing is that? Oh like, man, it's pretty. That has cool, to be like. incredible. Ah, uh, it's pretty. No, he cool. came over. I think he done an open. Oh no, man. he came over here. Yeah, I got yeah. There. I think we got him and Graham yeah, and a few other lads came yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Lovely guy. Like, lovely. Loads guy. of questions. Like you know. They're he's always he's like, a published author. He's wrote loads of books, man. How incredible! Like to me, that's inspiring. You know. And that's what he said to him. I was like, that's inspiring. He was like. Paddy, it's nice to me. I'm like, mate, it's nice yeah. to meet you. I, I was chatting to him um, a few times about it, and I was saying, like, like when he was coming up to the second comp, because uh, he did the Irish Open, and he, he actually lost to, um, he lost both matches in the Irish Open, but, like, he lost on points, wasn't submitted by either guy, and uh, both guys, especially one of them I'd seen, has competed in a comp we ran before. He's an Andy Wong guy. He's, he's basically drew a blue belt. He's solid. Your man's only trained about uh, six or nine months, Dave. Like, um, but uh, he was there to me. Oh, I, you know, I just want to get the win. I was there. You won already, man. You won, you won, won already. already. You won already. You're going to fucking compete. Like, uh, like there's m- most people just in your situation just don't have that about them. Like most people. Without your situation, don't have that about them. You know what I mean? Like Even the, the guy, idea of getting up off your ass, like that. And so, anybody that has messaged me and gave me an excuse, I gave me anything. Go back to that message and delete it. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. It, like yeah. as an amputee, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and this guy is like thirty five. Would he be? Uh, older. Oh, uh, well into his forties. So into his forties yeah, and, yeah, and well amputee up. and still and and winning matches. Not yeah, only that, nine yeah, months yeah, in. Yeah, won a match. Yeah. Staying the lot of man, I was delighted when he messed me. Like oh, it know, was like here, one of your guys won a big fight. Like you know. Yeah, yeah but that's that to me. That's that's still what it's about. It's yeah, a, it, it, there's an awesome. Well, it's all inclusive. It's crazy thing goes, like, like there's no doubt when like like James is. Yeah, like, lads coming true and you see that. Yeah, 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 but like there is that little special thing with someone like and I don't want to make him sound like a pet project or anything like that. But he he understands well. Like yeah, it's it's a special thing when you see someone that like uh you know a little bit against the odds do well sure we're all we're always we're for the underdog we're irish we underdog. yeah we do of course you're irish you always underdog. want the underdog not like those brits james <laughs> <laughs> you get some abuse man <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no. say you do you get abuse james abuse like. listen we get rid of it all day long it's great yeah I but got, he when he's, i come over i got abused a lot and then they I, I stay in this little room and then the abuse got that much they blocked my window up <laughs> Sounds about right. How dare you look at our country? Yeah, you're not allowed to see the Irish sun. <laughs> I think I got no, no sunlight. Then you enjoy that sunlight. We that's were going to actually block up the door in and just start feeding them fish heads. That's out. <laughs> Stop. Here, yeah, no, listen. It's all love, but we will never let you forget. Never. Never, we, never, we, never forget. Never forget. Never forget. But forget. It's, it, it's all love, though. It's all love. Even Chelsea Chet, Chet, gets an awful thing at me. Look, like, get out of the toilet. And she'll be like, I'm going to be a few more minutes. I'm like, you had 800 years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah he gets <laughs> a 
yeah. Yeah. 800 like, years. Who recognised this stuff? Yeah. He's like, going to have to start the little uh, a little club over here where you sit down and talk to each other. <laughs> we're going to live in Ireland, we're going to have to have like, a social club you know, where we can... When you, when you talk to them about it, like unless you do study on your own, they don't really learn about it in school or anything. It's not... Like, why no, would you? One, here we wreck the place. Yeah. The sound, <laughs> like, yeah, but like, I mean? it's, um, it's, it's taught as like the making of the modern world, isn't it? Yeah. That's how you are taught. They're taught like school. it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah but it's yeah. like we, 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 we civilised the world like, in a way. I'd say the Nazis would have said they did right as well. Like, but oh, hey, you know. <laughs> you, uh, I, I Maybe edit that one. <laughs> I, I know, I'm going to get off this one because I was yeah, just Yeah, could get heated. We we'll leave it. We'll I was having it. a discussion with my uncle last night about this whole Israel and Palestine uh, thing going yeah, on. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. like, you know what I mean? That's a mad situation again, isn't it? Like, it's, pretty, like, it's pretty easy to know where you we, fall as an Irish person. Yeah, we keep bringing this up, okay, but I'm just, I'm just going to go past it anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, Cage can handle this, all right? Oh, Let's go back to this, all right, yeah. Chris? So, so, back in the day, um, it was uh, it was me, Chris, Cottle, Philip, Mull, Peter, um, Art. I always miss someone. Artem, Roddy. Ash, Roddy. Roddy I, I yeah. always miss somebody in it. Um, Connor fought on them. Connor, Connor um, fought, I think twice maybe. So, once. but like even the idea of like that go uh, the long way road. So, so say the little gym there. So you and Cottle would have been stuck together. At yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, me and Ash would have been yeah, stuck yeah. together to him and everybody was kind of helping each other row that boat you know what I mean yeah. if you must but that little dressing room upstairs like we used to weigh in for cage contenders and stuff like that and then it got bigger we go to the moment there, right where you're in the square you're in your jocks <laughs> right and, uh, I had my head shaved yeah, I your head shaved, mental, yeah. So dehydrated it, to death with a head shave looking at an alien or but something. that's how you made the weight wasn't it like you yeah, really I, was, had to I, shave, was, I was shaving my head and everything to make you were cool yeah. ridiculous weight then so yeah, that was a bad one let's make yeah. an example so, so, so next week you fight at uh, 93 kg yeah. um, today I'm, you are I'm 99 uh, right now this morning I was 99 so, we, uh, so it's 93.5 so I'll probably I'll only end up cutting like two or three of water, and that's more by choice. I could diet down a bit more if I wanted, but I don't I like cake. Ruin, ruin the energy. I like I, cake. To be honest, I'm when I, yeah, no, I do like cake I as well. Cake. I love cake and biscuits and bread <laughs> and too, all those I'm things. Right at pop yeah, yeah. You know but I, like I keep finding the light heavyweight guys are not that big, man. They're not. They're like like overweight middleweight and slow. So yeah, they're slow. So I don't mind being like uh, I don't mind not cutting huge weight for it. <laughs> light heavyweight is going like middleweights that don't want to. Yeah, they're not arse. You know, <laughs> they probably fall on that borderline. They're ninety five. KG they're going nah I'm not doing it you yeah. know what I mean like, and I, I can understand that uh, so, so what and in comparison to where I'm talking about when you were standing in the square weighing in you would have been 100 kilo but you would have been making I, I used to come down I was a little bit like, I used to walk around 98 all the time and um, I'd like diet down then to about I'd get I'd basically walk in so I'd get down to 93 the week off and I'd walk into the sauna at about 91 90 and then so cut like 6 kilos so they were, that was championship weight 84 yeah. 84 that one yeah, 6 kilos of water just like in 24 hours for about 500 euro for 500 <laughs> <laughs> no yeah me and, me and Peter Queenie were saying that like, 500 euro like, how would you get that deal yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah yeah like, yeah no it, it, isn't it yeah. mad when you think of it like that yeah like, man but it, that's why it was for the love of the sport wasn't it? yeah and, and it, it always it, is man I think for me like it, it always is like the money is a bonus that was laying like, them yeah. hard blocks the four yeah. hard blocks are always the yeah. hardest ones you know what I mean and you then, know it, like I, like lads get paid a bit more now I notice like you know even lads at lower levels on uh, shows with lesser records are getting paid okay money which is good like it's, you know but um, I don't like it It never like I, I did my first fight for free <laughs> and, so you know, did your I. man couldn't afford to pay me so he, I did it for free and to be honest I probably would have done them all for you, free my first fight John was the promoter and I think he forgot to pay me <laughs> oh no no those shows you only got paid by the tickets we didn't get any tickets <laughs> <laughs> We sold tickets, but we didn't get any tickets. Cage of Truth. Cage of Truth, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you actually, this is a strange one, because I'm seen as the elder statesman. I'm seen as like being around forever, right? This is the way everyone thinks of it. You, Ash, Cahill, oh no, not Cahill, Connor, and Tom Egan had all fought before me. Oh, right. You had your first fight before me. You went to Canada, I remember. When I kind of came yeah, to the gym, you oh, went yeah. to Canada about six we months later. We actually did me, me coaching and me studies uh, in Canada. So, like, what are we doing now? I was fucking planting the oak trees. Yeah, yeah, of pens, course. You but I mean? it was always going to go that way for you. Like, uh, yeah. And I always tried to fill that role in the gym as well. Man, you were so good at that. You, look, I, I looked at everybody, and you were definitely like, you were definitely a mentor for me as well. Look, yeah. We watched everybody what they used yeah, to do. I, I, I'm I actually going to get you to show well. me that little trip sequence before you oh, leave yeah, here, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah. I can't get it again now, and I used to get it all the time. Guys just got to defend it. So I go, I've got a like uh, A, B, C, D, like, so I go like A, then I move to B, to C, to D, because 
the likes of Cotland, Phil, and James have got good at defending the them. Inside so, uh, and the outside. Yeah, yeah. So you're using that other inside, heel. outside, inside, and then outside. I've, and then I've got two more that I add. We'll keep to ourselves. Yeah, that, yeah, show yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, I'll show you then. So, you so can. the idea of that, like you're cutting all that way down, Chris, and then and you're standing in the square, you're in your jocks, and I think I think it was John Redmond you were fighting it at was, this time. Yeah, but yeah. Here, here's the funny part of it because he turned around and said, yeah, "You have a fight on your hands," and you're like, "I know, that's yeah, what yeah. this is all about." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was there too because I actually said to him on the night or at that time I was there, like, "This is your part." Part. This is the part you yeah, want, where we right. all stand in the square. But tomorrow night is my part. We yeah. get to go actually have a fight. You know, kind of. I was very nervous for that one. I have to say. Oh yeah, man. And the, There's a lot of pressure, and that, that was the first time there was a lot of, of high, course, high that, stakes. That was, that was actually an immediate event. That, yeah. like, we're in the middle of a shopping centre. Like, I used to be getting thrown out this by the air. I did show the cash. Yeah, in yeah, yeah brought like, in now. Yeah. No, I'm not bad anymore. Yeah. No. <laughs> but we're in the middle of it doing the way, and then like, and, oh, the, the, I don't think we fought on that one. I think you were fighting on that one. I had a broken arm. Right. That's yeah, where I had a yeah, broken yeah, arm. Yeah. That one. And I was standing in the crowd, and I remember, I remember. Seen that happen and being like, when he's screaming. Remember like, kids walking over to me looking for autographs. Like, what the fuck is going on? That was mental, wasn't yeah. it? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to fight. Dude. I know, yeah. I don't know what's going but, like, on? I have to say, like, uh, the, the Vegas and that he, he, he put, put on a great show he man. He did, did, did well before well before well anybody before else, anybody was doing that like he's that. a mad L scam he's a like, mad L scam he's a chef he now he's a ma- yeah, still is I think but, I, uh, I haven't seen him in a long time but that but basketball arena we were saying as well that, that was like that was like the Coliseum that, the what was that 3000 yeah would you six, get 3000 th- as many as you can fit that's yeah. what yeah. Well, what would you fit in there say about 3000 yeah do you remember back in the day there used to be almost a show every weekend like I'm a I'm a coach now with guys that are, are fighting at a decent level. Your guys are starting to come through yeah, as well. You're yeah, starting yeah. to get them on Ami shows. I'm seeing yeah. the same shows. But like, there's no Irish shows for me to put them on. Like, mm. so we're going up north for all our fights. So. No, it's so hard. It's so hard to find uh, to find it. Dude. I, I put this up a while ago saying uh, there was no shows, and then I got like slated by uh, by a couple of people um, involved in that in the Ima thing. That were saying to me, "There's uh, as many shows as there was in 2013." I said, "There, there there's actually isn't. Not, there's nowhere definitely. near it. Like, should they used to show every weekend? Like, yeah, like there, like so those Royal Shin. Oh, you remember all that? You know, everything. Uh, the one that Paul Cowes used to run, the Rush, the all that Rumble kind of and Rush. Yeah, they're all gone. None yeah. of the smaller battle zone has been on. Cage can then the Cage Warriors. Cage Warriors haven't been back to Ireland. But I got an offer this one, I think, for the first one, aren't they? Yeah, the Cage Warriors Academy. It's and he's running yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. got to be a nice kind of build up for guys. Yeah, as well. I, I have a couple of guys that I'd like. That belt before they turn pro, I think that'd be a big, yeah. Imagine having that, that beside your, like, your bed before yeah, you have yeah, the, yeah. the real one. I do. Speaking I of that, one. yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> Speaking of that, you, you have one of them, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you have the, you, the, the, the World Toil, that was in, I think it was 2012 now, wasn't it? That's 2013. 2013? 20, no, 2012, you're right, yeah, you're right, yeah, 2012, you're right, yeah. Uh, Pavel Couch. Couch, Couch, Couch. Couch, Pavel Couch, <laughs> look like a Couch. Pavel Couch, yeah. He's been on it, I actually just, for some reason, someone brought him up recently, I checked him. He's been on an absolute tear. He's like another nine fight winning streak. Because uh, he's a heel hook. Uh, yeah, he's a leg lock guy. So yeah. I say a lot of stuff. He was a world. Cool. He was um, world, sambo world sambo champion, champion multiple yeah. times. I think the ham sambo was wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he was the best at <laughs> making ham sambo. Uh, I think I think they have a, a like a term for like um, master of combat or something they call it. You know that oh, that's really? the way they. I, I kind of like that. Yeah. I'm about that. I'd rather have. I'd rather be called a master of combat than a black belt. It's kind of cool, isn't it? You're a master of combat. We're going to apply for that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, one, yeah like. And plus, you don't have to wear the gi pants, so it's great. Like, you just wear the no, jacket. Yeah, yeah, just the jacket. No, yeah. Yeah, I got a mad thing walking I got around. A little funny story, boys. I'm not meant to Because you're talking about the gi jacket, right? I was in a hospital yesterday, and I was in the canteen. Right, and there was now the nurses sitting on this table, and this big old lad that looked like Cornell Chicken came in, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he literally sat on the chair, right? And his balls <laughs> fell, Fuck right? Yeah, and I'm not messing with him. He was looking at the nose like this. <laughs> I hope he was a patient, was he? Man. He didn't just walk in and just slap. Balls about so he's like mic to Oh, he was a patient, that. right? Sorry how I got onto that, but just when you were talking about the gee jacket, like that shit, no pants on it. Yeah. <laughs> it was like that. Anyhow, sorry. Wait, what I, like, uh, I said there was a nice little mad breeze situation. going in, though. I'd say he was happy From enough. Mad situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not messing if we had... And you know that thing? So that mic but like, you're, like, you're like, that's fucking disgusting, but you keep going. Oh, I couldn't stop is looking still, at him. Is, is, he still there? is he still there? Your uncle's sitting there. He's like, what are you looking at? That guy's no, balls. No, no, <laughs> don't look over there. Don't look over there. Ah, look, no shame. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> no shame. shame no, in that. You have to look. What no are you going to do? And Jeez. then you're making comparisons. He's bigger than me. Oh, he's bigger than me. Oh, he's definitely bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely bigger than me. And I'd say he's a bit of shrinkage and all going on. Yeah, yeah that one was in Jordan. Yeah, uh, Jordan, I actually, yeah. I actually used the, the money from the fight to buy an engagement ring. 
got married to you. You're at my wedding then. The, the, of course it was. What the, a... Yeah. What that was a mad scene, wait, that one. Chris puts on a good spread. Yeah, well, Laura's parents put on <laughs> a good <laughs> spread. That's what I was to say, yeah. Yeah. When you grow <laughs> if up... If it was me, it would have been homemade ham sandwiches <laughs> on a little thing. <laughs> Yeah. The best advice that Chris could give you is grow up and marry a rich woman. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know it, that's it, that's it. But Lord, it's a smart like, rich woman. Lord smart is rich like, woman. It, like it, she's the epitome of it, for every successful man, for every solid man, and yeah, to yeah. the ups and downs, because you had your ups and downs. Yeah, as loads well, of you know them, man. I mean? Yeah, loads of them. so tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, the downs were low. But Lord is like, Lord is incredible. You know, yeah, even no. for me, Lord has had my back. Shout out to Lord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, she's looked Being after me. Being a solicitor and all that. You make that sound worse than it was. No, like, no, yeah, it, was yeah, never, no, it was never really no, bad. Never. Yeah. Proper, easy yeah, voice. Yeah. But it's hard to get. No, she and she's done that for a good few of the guys, and um, and she's uh, as well. Like you know, back in the day, the likes of um, Cahill and Artem and all used to, and Rob the dog used to stay in the gaff, like because they'd be battered after the fights, and they wouldn't want to go home to their parents or whatever, so they'd stay in the gaff. So they'd be so she, you know, she'd know all the lads through that as well. Look at how Rob the dog mm. actually. That's what I'm saying. We was talking there because like, we might never go a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Artem a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Artem a couple of times was kind of, you know, fave. Like, no, yeah, you know, Artem. Yeah, yeah Artem. You know, I'd say Artem went to Artem, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, just standing there. Take so, him down at nah. So then, then it all started happening. Like, so, yeah, like, it started happening. You know, you know, everyone knows what it was when it all started happening. So, yeah. you, you guys got, uh, kind of got signed. Um, I think I went to the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, then you I, went before I us. I went before. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think I was the first to do the Yeah, that's now, right. To, 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 it's absolutely miserable. Yeah, yeah. Because it is miserable. Yeah. Right? Miserable. I, I actually went over, I did the trials. Uh, Years before, when I was cage contender the champion, I went over to one of the trials in Vegas by myself. Oh, really? And uh, they were doing middles and welters, and then they... Was it Vegas or London at all? Uh, that was Vegas, the one I went to. Carl went to the one in London, right, I think. Right. He was trying to push his American passport, because it was Team America, Team UK. And he... So he was trying to go on the American side, like, uh, but they didn't They didn't buy it. Uh, but he, uh, yeah, I went over, and they were doing middles and welters, and then when I got, I got through the first two stages, when they started doing the interviews, they said, we're cutting the middles. They obviously hadn't got enough guys through. So they asked me, could I make welterweight? And I was like, and I went, to, oh, classic Chris, I went, here, I have to cut off a limb. And I turned around, your man Nick Neal was standing behind me. Oh, the guy with the, yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you, didn't know where to look. I'm just going to go home yeah, now. Yeah, I was yeah. like, fuck, I'm d- Taxi! Yeah, taxi. just don't remember this, because yeah, yeah. like, I'm like, be back next year. Jesus Christ. I was like, yeah, I'd have to cut off a limb. <laughs> so, you and God, how, how weird is that, 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 that? You and like a, as I said, it's that someone that was stuck at the hip there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my best up, mates, like you know, end up always one of the be hardest there. competitions in the world. Yeah, where no, it's it was like a mad scene. Big brother, and you fight each other to get each other out of hell. Yeah, it was a mad scene. I didn't really like the experience. I knew you. Know, like, yeah. I, I, knew I didn't make it even into that house, man. I tell you, the experience before that. I, I just would have walked off waiting that would have told me a good time yeah the staying in the hotel leading up to an night yeah, like and I remember when uh, after getting into the house I remember I arrived uh, on the night and everyone we all like kind of had a bit of food and, all, and we were going to bed it was pretty late by the time and um, I remember going up like I was lying in the bed and I was actually lying there going I just pack my shit and go we can't do it yeah, can't yeah do it I don't thing. really don't want to do it like I don't wanna, you know and then I was like, oh, like yeah. every day I kind of Conversating yeah. with people you don't want to conversate with, and all yeah, that. Yeah, it's a horrible with. kind of atmosphere. The whole thing's like because you don't know who you're gonna fight. I was last to fight out of um out of all the quarterfinals, so you're sitting there every week thinking you're gonna be fighting, and then you're not fighting, so it's up and down, up and down. But as well, it's just like I I I love fighting, but I I'd, I'd be quite happy for someone to come to my gym. Obviously, there's no money in that, but I'd be happy to go. Me and him are gonna fight. Come over to the gym. It's still hard skills. Yeah. Yeah. Few of us there watching who want no, but few of us there who who you want to watch it, you know, and then um like just because it's the competing, like it's the same way like we all you get when someone new comes into spa. You yeah. know that kind of yeah, way. Yeah, it gives you that, that feeling. Yeah, in that your little belly feeling, you know. So it's the competing that and trying your skill set out against someone new, like you but know. But that had to be a mindset. But do you know, I'd say the good thing would have been with uh, with Cottle there. Yeah, that was the same grace, man. I would, I wouldn't have lasted. I don't think. And like, I, I know even Cottle found it tough, and he's a like he's like a mountain goat. That guy mentally, like you know, yeah. he, nothing kind of breaks him. Like, but uh, he's doing great now, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing great. Loves him so well. Yeah. Now. Like, walk uh, around with his shirt though, but on he Instagram, deserves oh, it. He deserves to walk around. Like, yeah. He's walking around with man, his shirt though. Man, is perma ripped, isn't he? Like, yeah, what's yeah, he's in bleeding. I I put up a photo the other night, me and him after training, and like I was I was gonna put the tagline, one of us is retired, the retired fighter, and it's not me. <laughs> 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 Ripped out of his mind. But like. even like, even like you would have, 
you would have lined his like fire line as he was running towards yeah, it, and yeah, then yeah. he's lining yours. Yeah, as well. yeah, and, no. And, and you was, still have a solid group. You like you guys together. It's, it's you, Philip Mulpey, or um, him, Davin him, James, uh, Davin Tom James, King, or whatever. We, yeah, we've a solid, solid he's group. A, we, Will Flurry comes over. We've, yeah, so we've he's a, a solid big group of guys yeah, yeah. there. Like, uh, Keen Arth pops down a good bit for me as well. Like, I'm gonna say big guys. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the biggest, the big, like, yeah he's yeah. a big lad. Yeah, yeah, he's a big guy. Uh, he was down yesterday doing some. Yeah, yeah. Do you be in wrestling with him, son? Huh? Did you be in wrestling with him as well, James? Yeah, you were doing that. Yeah, right. I did some rounds with him yesterday. Yeah, Danny, yeah. low single. Yeah, low yeah, single. yeah, low, low single. single. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> body, body lock and hang Boy, on. Man, Michael, no, yeah, yeah let he, him swing you around for a he's while. He's a like. big, big house. Yeah, he's a big dude. So then the idea of um, you're, 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 now you had your kid, what, how did you feel at that change? I feel like that was probably the biggest change in my career. Um, you know, I was I was kind of very slow with that whole thing, like a... Uh, like, uh, you know, everything was pretty planned to have a kid. Uh, so I was, like, I was excited about the idea. You know, it wasn't like a, whoa, what's it? You know, this Did kind you, of thing. you planned on me, yeah? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, was so. that, uh, cause I know this is weird. Other people might, like, because uh, they, 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 this guy that's on his way is planned as well. My one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different jumping into the sack actually playing for oh, you. Oh, yeah, what? Well, <laughs> like, like, I, I, like, I, I might get myself in, I might get myself in trouble, like, on this, but I'm going to be brutally honest. No shame. No shame. No shame, shame. Uh, that's it. It was actually like, judge you, it's actually like, we're actually like, right, uh, do you know what, actually, we, uh, we, let, like, let's have a kid, like, grand, and then we were like, actually, do you know what, um, Cole was fighting in Boston and all. So we had loads of stuff coming up. We're like, oh, you know, we'll wait till all that stuff done. And then, all right, grand. So, and then uh, she was like, oh, yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Literally. Like, one show, one goal. Oh, That's no, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, I only yeah. need one arrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, like, uh, Laura, Pere Laura was away at Cole's uh, fight. Didn't know she was pregnant. So, it was, like, flat out on a mad one. Like, you oh, know what hey. I mean? But I think they have, Tommy like, a little force. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think they have a force field early. Like, uh, you, she, you, you yeah. get a little. Uh, well, they wouldn't know. Like, you no. know, some people wouldn't know. Whatever. Chelsea did a Paddy's Day as well. So, yeah, you know, I, I think everyone's the same. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, uh, uh, yeah, it was a, it's a, it's a cool experience. It's um, like I feel like I fight for kind of slightly different reasons yeah. now. You know, uh, I kind of want him to watch my fight, so I feel like the more emphasis on the performance and um, and yeah, like I, I probably like I've always kind of thought I, like I, I, my plan was to retire at thirty five, but I'm thirty five uh, this month actually. This month, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go thirty six because um. I had like a year where fights just fell apart, so I didn't really get to compete. That was know? a bad, that was a crazy old year, wasn't it? Would you? <sighs> Star Memo licking your yeah, head, man. Yeah, fucking everything just went wrong. Like, but uh, like lads pulling out, like three times I had lads pull out the week of the fight, like you know, um, which is just rough and no replacement. No. Uh, you know, and they were all title fights. They're all Bama title fights, and then I was just I got fed up with that. Couldn't do it anymore. Oh. Um, but the uh, yeah, so I, yeah, the like the kid thing. It's it's been a. I feel like. A, I improved me as a fighter and a coach. Like uh, I kind of, when I'm coaching, I'm thinking about, you know, how I'd want him to be coached and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of improved that, me. In but that. The, I think, do you know what that kind of say? As I said, the same idea when my own youth, I used to be thinking like, what, what way do I want him to see? Yeah, me? and I yeah. think that's a good little idea. I think and I think then coaching makes you better as a dad as well. So they kind of both pay off. A good mirror, yeah, yeah. Like, and and being a dad makes you better as a coach because yeah. you couldn't understand how to like talk to people. Yeah, like, yeah. You know? And uh, you know, they're like, like, hopefully we don't. But you know, there's those wild kids. And you have to deal with them. You know, we were probably those wild kids, though, Paddy. Oh, he's definitely <laughs> that wild kid. Yeah, you know. but, still, uh, so, he's still in there, man. So I let him out on the weekends. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He gets TR. Yeah, yeah. Only, uh, only in Liverpool, right? No, only in Liverpool. Oh, stop! Yeah, Captain Morgan's, and he is out. Yeah. <laughs> did you oh, ship his sails? You went over to? Did you go to the UC? Liverpool? I didn't go to the UC. I was actually, you know what? I was in Liverpool for a funeral and I probably got more message than that else. Where can I meet you? Where can I go? Are you at the show? Are you at this? And I'm like, well, I'm at a funeral in Liverpool. Oh, that's where you're over. Everyone else is having oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I was messing you going, ah, oh, you'll have a great time and all that. I know, yeah. Sorry, man. Chris sorry. is one of them guys. Yeah, Chris sorry, man. Yeah, I messed up. I was going, ah, oh, it's a great city. Love so it then, so then you and Tom, so long teammates as well, of myself and you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I remember Tom bringing me into a little lane and abusing me up and that right cool. Still, still. Yeah, yeah, you're still feeling that. Yeah, he had no belt on, and he was absolutely fucking disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> you know? he's, uh, he's he had no belt on time. Then I seen him with a Pope belt on, and I was all all right. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just some bloke who just he, mauled me. You know? he, no. He'd be he'd be friends with like uh, so he would have been friends with lads that I was friends with. And and I, and Mark. Yeah, Mark and all, and they would have been like close in the gym, and so I would have kind of got to know Tom. And then, strange enough. Uh, a little bit of MMA history. Me and Tom had our MMA debuts the same night. Like we both fought in uh, Open um, Donegal, 
Um, Palms and me never made for it as well. Yeah, he had, he had the one pro. Like obviously he ran a muck in those MMA leagues, but he had the one pro and he bet bet lumps. I was there going like, how much do you owe you, Tom? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> it, how much does he owe you? Like you know. Yeah, because no, Palms yeah. that like, that nerve is strong, isn't it? Yeah, say, like, yeah. And he uh, he he like he's he's just a great even his jiu-jitsu is aggressive yeah. game. You know, he's an aggressive game. An MMA style of jiu-jitsu, a basic, general. yeah, aggressive yeah, game. yeah. And it's it's man, he's a. He's a top level. Uh, yeah. like he, he he's, he's like a box. Maya. He, he's that saying. kind of style. There's nothing cool and different, and that's not knocking Tom's game. He does some. He has some cool stuff in the gi. It's, it, but like there's there's nothing you don't know. He just does it better than you. Yeah, that's, it's like what's he doing? Which is Soy the, control. Yeah, it's just ten times yeah. better than mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it feels like my soul got dragged. Yeah, down, and it's you know? like what's he doing different? Nothing. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. And then he'll like he'll show you one little tweak, which I always like when he's doing like when he's te- I go to a lot of Tom's class, but when he's teaching seminars or when he's uh, he shows a position that you understand quite well and then he show you a little tweak and it changes the whole thing Everything. for you. You know, you can keep your fucking calf slicers and all. I want That's the shit I want to learn. Yeah. You know, that kind of way, yeah. something that's going to change my game from like like from having it pretty solid to having it solid. Them you know, the basic of, Yeah, of course. Man. The M, um, and, and so he's already using one of the SPG swords. Now, yeah, yeah, it's going really he's well. Done, he's in two years now? Yeah, uh, two. we were two years in April, yeah. Savage. Yeah, we were very lucky. Like, um, James... That's here. We just didn't put him on camera because he's an ugly English guy. Uh, yeah, we, we were thinking uh, of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's Brits out. We, uh, put we, him uh, on, but we, we only have over sixes in this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but look he, at you, two bastards. How you going on? That's what he said. He, uh, he, um, <laughs> 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 he, he. Oh, you need a mic for your laugh, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm giggling in the background. J- James had helped me out for a couple of my camps before, um, before I'd opened the gym. So when I opened, he came straight over, and he's been like, uh, he, "What's yeah. it like living in Ireland?" <laughs> I love it, man. I have a great life. Is it as mad as you thought? Huh? Is it like? Did you think it was going to be a little bit mental? Um, I, well, just through the life I tried to live, I knew it was going to be a bit mental, but and through the sport of it, but uh, Chris made it fairly comfortable for me, you know. So. A lot more than his people made of Ray Hundred years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he, no, well, more comfortable you made it for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pretty it's much. All right, yeah. It's all right, though. So he he made it a lot better than it could have oh, been. Oh, hundred percent. Because you would have been coming over to like. Uh, like you have a mate and you have yeah, you know, yeah, like that. yeah. that's a horn that he used to buy me breakfast and coffees and <laughs> get me food so did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what I did is then. Did you find him as a homeless lad who's like centralism? I don't know, man. Why you him breakfast and coffees? Uh, this is what you, you call uh, me Papa Chris for. I just try that. You know what I mean? 100%. I, I, yeah. it, again, this is what it's what we would call Chris for ages. Papa Chris. Uh, again, it's that thing. It's like uh, with my kid. Like, it's how I'd want my kid to be treated. You know what I mean? I'd yeah. hope someone would do this for him at some point that he wants to follow a dream or, you know, kind of find his way. And I know you're the exact same person. 100%. You know, you'll make it as make it as easy for someone as possible, you know? Um, but uh, like so, I was lucky. Like James is there. James was straight in as a training partner and a, a member. So we we literally like opened the gym. Uh, I think James had one more Ami fight and then turned pro. So we'll open the gym with a pro fighter. At the oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. another pro fighter there. Yeah, so and, and the idea of Guy is seen at the yeah, levels, exactly, you know what I mean? exactly. Like and that's what like the lads coming through then have a target. That isn't just me. I obviously, I have a whopper bulls on the back as I'm yeah, sure you yeah. do for all the oh, boys. Oh, stop there. man. Yeah. They all See, want the their teens, piece of meat. man. We do, we do more rounds than anybody in this league. Yeah, yeah. Right? They all want their piece of meat. Yeah, like, yeah. And they're all trying to keep... Every round is to the death. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it keeps on your toes, man. Oh, I you love know, it. I found big improvements in my game because you're there going, Jesus, if I sleep for I a second I swear, because yeah. we haven't had as much fun training and doing jiu-jitsu in the last years that I have uh, since I started. Yeah, I, I've so found that. Like, uh, it's nicer. It's, a, it's like, just a no, like it's just great like being able to bring over like like guys like Tom and being yeah, able to, like, yeah, yeah. so so see uh, there's there's guys of there's guys have had it I've seen that game and I've been like oh yeah listen oh, like I'm a fan of these guys and and now it's like having your own house and you can invite guys over that here you look up to introduce your fan and the mad thing is like I end up talking to them and stuff like that and like they look up to me yeah, in a way like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. hold on mate like, I just, yeah, I'm following you for years. I've been following yeah, you for years, yeah. but they're, say, jiu-jitsu guys, yeah. and they follow MMA. And they yeah. kind of, oh, she had Taylor over that time as well. Yeah, Taylor, Taylor in yeah, as Taylor's well, yeah. Like, and just guys that like, yeah. you know, you just know, like, he's an animal. You'd watch him on yeah, uh, yeah. Like, uh, on flow grappling, and you'd see something. Taylor's a beautiful great. jiu-jitsu it's, player. Yeah, and his foot lock details are yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah, no, he's very good, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's great to have him over for a few no, days. No, he is. And he's... He, he, Hey, he's one. He's a. Jay, he's one of James's mates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and he's sound as well. Yeah, he's a good. Guy. Yeah. Got to have a good. He's a solid man, isn't he? Yeah. 
Are we talking to Alan at all? Have you met Alan yet? No, I'll introduce to Alan the next time. Um, Alan was uh, James' jiu jitsu coach before he came over. Like, uh, was still his jiu jitsu coach. Um, he uh, he runs the OR team, so he's like uh, Taylor's coach and uh, Yanis that was over with us and a bunch of he's building like a ridiculously good jiu jitsu team. But even that, like the, the networking in between that is like yeah, yeah. is key. You know what I mean? Because well, when I go over for James fights in London, I go down and train with Alan, so I get to roll with these boys. Yeah, this yeah. is that's important. Yeah, no, very much so. Like, the, the, the more uncomfortable kind of feeling you can get isn't it like, and you, know, you know you're seven you're rolling with different bodies that you haven't rolled with it's yeah. like uh, it, the, so this weekend yeah it goes down goes down Go on, someone's going down someone's going <laughs> well, he, he, and he's Brazilian <laughs> <laughs> what height is this guy uh, I think he's only like six foot um, six foot six only one. six foot yeah, yeah I know yeah. isn't that weird yeah 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 is six foot not the average height now crouch no? over here honestly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like be a crouch over here only uh, small defenders standing at six foot he, he uh, yeah yeah he, I think he's six foot um looks a little bit loose you know he's not That's he's not lean yeah he's I, I think he's kind of similar to my last opponent to be honest um, I like I uh, I have a straight game plan these days like to get hit as least as least amount possible Just legs like to, baseball yeah, bats yeah kick well. lumps out of him to get close grab them take them down and maul two them. meter long baseball bats <laughs> and then just start fucking wrapping up darts jokes and you know all that kind of stuff but like I, I, that's why I feel very confident in my grappling and I feel like uh, it's actually even different in uh, your division when you're competing I, I feel like a lot of like heavyweight guys the level of grappling is shy because they probably get away with a lot yeah of they just like lean on guys or line them in the gym or they just smash pads and don't bother their arse you know the, yeah no and, that, and a, lot, a lot of sessions are guys coming in and getting stuck in that routine of smashing pads and not like just development. preparing for fights just development yeah. like, like, um, that, that's probably one of the most it's like I've started a, like a, um, a player manager kind of thing yeah, yeah. when we start in the gym you know you're kind yeah. of building a team and every time you put something in you can see a little bit of yeah, growth yeah. in it I, I love that uh, I I just love training, man. I fucking love it. Like I love. I'll never stop training. Like I. There was I can't a little time I missed it for like I just hadn't got that. Not, not yeah, no, but that I think that happens to everyone. Like mm-hmm. I, I I remember I um like uh, a few years back. I, it was actually just before we went to. I don't know if I said it to you when we were over. Uh, before we went to um. When we were over Mjolnir for remember we were over for a month yeah, that yeah. time like that uh, was a remember I came over a little bit late I came a few yeah. days like I had to go uh, get like checked up and it, it turned out I had like uh, a problem with my heart like so they were kind of yeah yeah so yeah. like th- at that time I was kind of like why am I like what do I do well should I still be doing this it's a bit mad like you know and then uh, I, I'm lucky now I get to see a group in uh, London and they're like um, they look after all the Olympians you know and so they check me out every six months but there's one day they're just gonna go all right that's it like. I know that's on the cards or like I could be retired by then you know that kind of way mm. they, they're a bit surprised that there hasn't been any it hasn't worsened hasn't in years worse, yeah. yeah like and they were expecting it to they were giving me limits so they were saying it can still it can work it can get worse by this much but not by much more than that and it hasn't at all so like it's um so it's yeah it's solid but like it's uh, I have a thing called uh, bicuspid valve regurgitation where uh, when it beats it lets some of the blood back in so the you have like these three leaves on your heart that go yeah, like this. Like I've only got two. One of them never developed. So I've always had it. Uh, and what happens is when it beats, only seventy percent of the blood is getting around. Or so, so the fact that I've out so cardio, unoxygenated blood going back into you. Yeah, yeah. Like. And uh, the fact that I've out cardio nearly everyone I fought is ridiculous. So I'm doing twice as much as they are. You know what I mean? That is because the set they. they you know, I should be losing those matches on that. Yeah, I should be the losing. The epic, uh, the epic prowler. Yeah, yeah, Chris those sessions, Owens, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. probably the world record still, I'd say in the proud of. I still go to Owen all the time. I still see Owen. Uh, it's something that I feel a lot of guys coming through now are missing that. Well, 100%. Oh, well, Owen Lacey. The emphasis is sparring now. Owen Lacey of the US always been yeah. there since what? They leading. They dot with us, yeah. They dot with us there, yeah. do you he, know what I mean? 20, what, he came board 20, uh, t- 2009. Them Monday sessions in that car park, yeah, you just man, cannot. You cannot can you recreate that. Them, James? Ah, James yeah. has loads of them, man. Yeah, he took to like a duck to water, man. He loves it, yeah. It's the only thing you can control in the fight, isn't it? Yeah, one hundred, one hundred percent, and that, and they have to say, I've been guilty of that myself as well because sometimes it's like. But see, like the thing is, you'll you know loads of sparring is great and it gets you sharp and of course it improves your fitness. But like, uh, like if you're winning the rounds all the time, then you're keeping at your pace. Or even if the other guy slows up, then it's not being pushed. But the likes of that training, you can't do that. You no, have to do it. It's time. You have to do it's it. It's time, like, it's yeah, weight, and it's yeah, push, and, and yeah. you know it's in there. And if you, you know the mean? problem with the prowlers is you go fast, it's easier to push. But it's hard on your lungs. If you go slow, it's harder to push and it's hard on your legs. So you just see you're, you're kind of stuck in this horrible fucking situation. There's no, there's no popping up on that. But um, and anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. But yeah, you know brilliant, what? absolute. 
gentleman, great yeah, to have you on, great to have a chat with you. And, 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 and this don't weekend, see no feature these days. Uh, no, yeah, and actually, yeah, no, so busy, but this weekend, man, things. enjoy it for us all. Go out and enjoy it and have that. That, that old warrior skill in it, in it. And it <laughs> Greyer than I was. The fun of it, yeah. <laughs> a bit of a badger in there. Yeah, now, there's yeah. a fair bit. Of salt and pepper I go with, salt and pepper. Say know. hello the, to the, the badger. Clooney, the Clooney. Things are going to change around here. <laughs> so uh, that was episode 20, was that 29? 29. Robin, 29 of it, No Shame. Um, make sure you follow the Instagram page for clips, the No Shame cast, and we think that's it. Yeah, look after yourself.